All right, we're checking out the only game where you can throw a quarter that weighs one billion tons at the Earth at one billion times the speed of light. It's Universe Sandbox. I have something of a love-hate relationship with science. I love science and science hates me. The reason for this is typically because I make it do things it's not really meant to do. And since Universe Sandbox had that update where you can change the density and weight of the atmosphere, I'm finally able to do something that you're not physically supposed to be able to do. Allow me to show you. So what we can do is take one of these objects here. I appreciate that a sperm whale is one of them. Actually, hold on, I kinda wanna do cannibalism. That's basically what this'll be. All right, we'll take another Earth, we'll aim it at this Earth. Now we have to make this Earth sad. I'm sad. And now Old Gray has to find out what the hell the dimensions on a quarter is. Hey Google, how much does a quarter weigh? 5.670 grams. Thank According you. To uh, some information no, that's I all I wanted. US Mint. I don't... Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, so now we have to take I'm sad, and we have to turn this into a quarter. Thickness, 1.5 millimeters. Yeah, this is gonna work out perfectly. Are you still sad? How about now? I'm sad is only 63.7 kilometers in radius. I'm sure there's still some poor Floridian bastard living up here. Okay. Uh-huh. Go bring this down to millimeters. Oh, oh, oh. What? D don't, don't start having a seizure on me. We're not done yet. Hold on. Oh, come on. You can do it. Come on now. Everyone wants to see blood. We have to get there. And... Oh. Perfect. You have to use the slider because sometimes when you type it in, the earth just ceases to exist. Can't have that. I would hate to have it disappear before I destroy it. Now, normally, if we increase the mass too high, it would turn this into a black hole. And that would make things boring. But... If we go over here to atmospheric mass, turn off auto, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, let's make it, um, one million times the Earth's atmospheric mass. Now we just have to speed this up. I don't want to go too crazy here, so we're gonna start off slow. We're gonna start off at one single light speed. This will give us, as I like to say, a baseline. All right, slow this down as much as possible because we're freaking moving the speed of light. All right. Now we start moving in here toward Earth 1. Oh God, we're starting to get a little bit of artifacting. This is, this is fine. Everything's fine. Okay, now random things are starting to fly off. Right, luckily, we still got plenty of atmosphere. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, we still have various chunks over here flying at the speed of light off of our, off of our sad quarter thing. Hmm. Oh. Look at it, it's a giant line of death that's, that I'm making. What is all this? It's just one millimeter particulates that are each moving one light speed. It would kind of be amazing if they all hit Earth at the same time. All right, keep moving here. Uh-huh. It is, it is going to saw through the Earth. This may end up being more amazing than I had previously anticipated. Okay, and want to really cradle this. Nice and soft. Nice and smooth, yeetily deep. The earth just got kicked in the balls at light speed. And there is the boop. Okay, so there's our initial hit. And let's see what it does. Doesn't look too bad so far. It's really not that bad. It just kind of looks like a gigantic firework. All right, there's all the various death particles, you know, that are 1300 degrees Celsius. All right. I think the Earth ended up okay. Yeah, we only killed 4% of the population. No problem. Okay, so that means that we have to really start speeding things up here. All right, let me remake the quarter. All right, there we go. So since that didn't give us the desired result, I'm gonna go ahead and multiply everything by 10. It's already expelling dark gases for whatever reason. That's nice. I imagine it's basically just like vomiting. Okay, so this time I did 100 million times. I like that it filled out. It's like it grew up. Instead of looking like a raisin, it looks like a legitimate piece of cancerous testicle now. Excellent. Motion, speed, light speed. Let's just go up to 100. Like like I said, we're gonna end up doing a lot of zeros here, so we might as well start putting them on now. All right, now give me a give me a legitimate explosion. Actually, before I do anything, let me save this. I'm gonna call it Satan's Quarter. All right, at least we're getting closer to Florida this time. Oh crap, am I gonna hit near Texas? No, it's definitely closer to Mexico. All right, 10 times the speed of light, 100 million times the atmospheric mass of Earth. Here we go. Yeet! Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. This is what I wanted. See? One light speed is never enough. I don't know why. Now, this is very curious. 
I only did 10 light speed, but somehow the Earth right now is moving at 65 light speed. It's like all of the gases got transferred, all the atmosphere is something. The Earth now exists in absolute zero as well, that's nice. What's our potential for life? Does this, hold on. Does this say not a number? <laughs> <laughs> uh, life likelihood. The game is like, listen, you don't want to know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now we're getting some sort of weird pulsar coming out of the earth. Ah, it's giving birth to baby earths. What the hell? What is this? It's all silicate and it's 1300 degrees Celsius and it's moving at 30 light speed. All right, whatever. I wonder if the earth can uh, like come back from this. There's some very interesting colors going on here. Kind of looks like an ice cream, like two different flavors. You got like orange sherbet and I don't know, like radioactive, okay? Typically I always end up at 1 billion times the speed of light. So I'm very curious where that's going to get us. I also like how the ocean dried up perfectly in a, in a ring around the side of the earth. I mean, we got three flavors of ice cream coming out of the earth now, look at this. I told you we were going to kick the earth in the balls. We just had to make our own. I appreciate the giant angry atmosphere now surrounding all of this. It looks like it's going super saiyan. The earth is like, you don't know about my true power level. It's 91 light speed. All right, now I think it may be done giving birth to other Earths. It is also possible that that hit may have knocked it out of the orbit with the sun. All right, Earth is still getting the sauna treatment here. I'm gonna move things along. Oh yeah, I mean, it got knocked off of its axis, but uh, it looks okay. Let me give it some time here. I love the original hit over here where all the death fragments occurred. All right, continue to speed things up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Earth got hit completely out of the solar system. All right, and this is what's left. Like backhanding a sheet of tin foil, part of the earth has folded in upon itself over here. I like, it just looks like the earth has aged poorly. Look at this giant divot. Did the uh, potential for life go up at all? Oh, it's it, it went from not a number to this number. It's just not very good. See, it's like a perfect quarter hole. Actually, it looks more like a guitar pick. I didn't mean to do this, but it's the entirety of North America. That's the only part that got completely erased from the map of the earth. Okay, so that was okay, but the fact that our quarter still hasn't actually destroyed the earth, like vaporized it, it's not good enough yet. Okay, so before we get to a billion and everything, I'm gonna start doing a hundred million, but there's another thing I wanna try. If we look at the earth here, we now have this which defines the flatness of an object. So now I can actually make Satan's quarter at least scientifically flat. Now that said, this is all about just adding more zeros. So I do want to try something. The larger value cause more oblation. Yeah, I want all the oblation. I want to oblate a size the hell out of this. Is it oblate or oblate? Now this is going to piss me off. Hold on. Hey Google, how do you pronounce oblateness? Oblate. Okay, that sounded slightly British, but I... We'll just say our blatantness is right. Alrighty, atmospheric mass. The answer is yes. Do 100 million of those. Ah, yes. It's always a good day when the boiling point on a planet is negative 396 degrees Celsius. And the freezing point is that. <laughs> The other thing is, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, one Jupiter worth of total water mass. Yes! I was afraid it would turn it into like a black hole, but it totally doesn't as long as it's water mass. <laughs> Alrighty, now 100 million times light speed, and we're ready to roll. Oh, I had to slow this bag down because I'm glad I caught this. Oh, Blake, this is amazing. It's always good when the Satan quarter hasn't even touched the earth yet and it's already liquefied most of the planet. What has happened here? Oh, it's a nice tropical 3,800 degrees Celsius. We're still pretty far away. How's everyone doing? Everyone's dead. Well, some of the people are still alive. Okay, we're, we're starting to change colors here. If you paint something red, it goes faster. So this makes sense. All right, let me go ahead and speed up a little bit more here. This impact should be pretty amazing. Okay, we just gotta make our way, <laughs> Jesus. We just gotta make our way through all the pieces that we're ripping out of the earth and <laughs> Okay, so all the gas transferred to the earth that time. That's good. 43,000 degrees Celsius. Not a lot of the speed transferred though, okay. Oh, earth is still doing okay. And by okay, I mean, you know, Pieces are randomly exploding off, and there's a giant gaseous um, mushroom. Okay, now we're changing to a different color spectrum. 
Actually, we're going through all of the color spectrums. Now, once it cools down, we'll see if it's, you know, able to maintain life. I assume this gigantic zip mark over here was the original impact site. I think it's still, it's still orbiting the sun. I thought it looked good, but the truth is everyone is in fact dead, which I don't understand. There's totally a place you could live down here. Obviously you can see where our quarter hit and punched a hole through North America again. Time for more freaking zeros. Let's grab Satan's quarter. Don't ask why it's next to sad virgin Jupiter and what the f am I? All right, so this time we're gonna do 1 billion times the mass. That may actually be more than a billion. You know what? The more zeros, the better, who cares? And it's time to jump up to 10,000 light speed. Okay, I'm at the slowest speed I can possibly go. That's the speed, and that's how quickly this thing's moving now. Oh God, it's going Super Saiyan. I wish I could slow this down more, but there's nothing I could do. Take it. <laughs> okay, so there's the initial impact. Again, this is as slow as humanly possible. Oh no, look at the ring of death. Okay, so the earth is now moving at 7,400 light speed from that hit. I like how there's normally supposed to be a map of the surface and the mapping system is just like, <laughs> what surface? There is still the potential for life, so I feel good about that. And here we go. Okay, now look at that, it shattered. This doesn't actually look that bad. I think the earth might be okay, okay. Uh, let's see. It hasn't even gotten to absolute zero. So this was not as bad as I had thought it would be. Let me just go ahead and speed things up so that we can see if the earth ever recovers. Half of it is completely engulfed in ice. That's nice. Oh, what the hell? What happened? Everything, the earth was doing so good. Oh God. There is, I don't know what this is happening across the surface of the earth right now. Look at all the tiny specks of sadness slowly beginning to form. Earth, you're not like thinking of doing what I think you're thinking of doing, are you? Okay. Well, let me speed things up and see if it recovers from whatever the hell that was. Now it's starting to flicker. Okay, now it's starting to have a seizure. This isn't looking great. Oh, hell no. Uh, the earth turned into a snowball. I'm gonna keep going here just to see it, like if there's anything left when it's, holy crap. What the hell? It's not vaporized though. So we haven't, we haven't actually lost the earth yet. I say that as it turns into a gigantic black hole supernova that's happening now. Come on earth, you can do this. You can pull this off. You can survive. Okay, the earth is slowly going into an alternate dimension. You can see the trail of what the earth left behind. It just got divorced from the sun. It was like, you can have the kids. I, did the earth vanish? Yes. Huh. So I actually did end up vaporizing the earth with that. Well, I guess it's time to find out if it's any worse when I go even faster. All right, here's the plan. Satan's quarter. All right, screw it. I'm just gonna add zeros until I feel like I don't wanna add zeros anymore. Yeet. Oh, the color changed. That must mean something. All right, one billion times light speed. There we go. Slow it all the way down. I don't even think I'm gonna stay zoomed in on the quarter because it's gonna disappear from our field of view in just a second anyway. Here we go. Okay, you can actually see it just went through the earth. So the earth hasn't even had an opportunity to recognize that it's been penetrated yet. Okay, let me give it a second here. I'm gonna speed things up. <laughs> and we'll see if the earth has, uh, you know, figured it out. I li I'd like to think that there's just this absolutely perfect line of death going straight through the earth. But other than that, life just continues to go on. Uh, Oh God, what the hell? What the hell? Is this the sun? What the hell happened to my earth? Damn it, I sped up and all of a sudden, the earth at this very moment, just for a second, is many, many times the size of the sun, I think. Okay, now it's continued to expand. It just ate the sun. Okay, it's starting to eat everything else in, in the solar system. What the hell is it doing? Oh, I think it exploded. Legit, my frame rate just completely tanked. Uh, oh my God! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, holy Jesus! What happened to the entire galaxy? <laughs> oh, wow, hold on. I was able to back up for just a second. Hold on. 
look at look at this this is the explosion that has now rocked the center of our known universe oh it's an explosion within an explosion it's like ultra deathception i like how it says jupiter is still there i don't think it is everything in here is just molten death oh of course the sun went supernova that makes sense jupiter how the hell are you still chilling in here jupiter's like i've been through a lot remember when you called me sad virgin jupiter all right i think jupiter may end up i was gonna say getting erased but it's still around i like how one of the few planets that survived this was jupiter and saturn i mean i say survive it's still leaving gigantic skid marks across the entire universe universe but hey they did it well needless to say sitting satan's quarter at 1 billion times light speed with a mass of the earth's atmosphere of a lot of zeros uh it pretty much had the impact i thought it would have and now cthulhu will come through the gigantic portal of death and kill us all anyway folks hope you enjoyed this episode of universe sandbox till next time stay foxy much love